Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss one of the most interesting topic like how Swift UI works in the background. Basically, we all know like there is structs and the structs get themselves redraw itself or they get re-render. But do you know exactly how they are working behind the scenes? We have learned in the theories like struct are working in Swift UI and when there is a view with value changes, then the struct redraws itself. Great, that is the answer. But Sometimes do you feel like what exactly is happening behind the scenes or what is exactly happening internally? If yes, then you are on the right platform. We will discuss it in depth. Basically, if we avoid this code for some time and we look over the some actual implementations, what exactly can happen, then we are having something that is known as, there is known as attributed graph. Okay, attributed graph. People call it sometimes trees or they call it as re-render tree. Okay. They use it as re-render tree because it is an easy term and then we are able to correlate very fast. So, but in actual technical term, it is an attributed graph. So what happens in Swift UI is like you have a view and this view here you have a let's say rectangle. Okay. And it is of green color. So what happens behind the scene when you draw this view, when you have actually wrote a code for this view, behind the scene what happens, a tree is being made. Okay, so here there would be a tree that will be containing, our, this is let's say initially we have content view on the very base level. So on this content view, we then are having a tree where we can say like there is what? okay there is a rectangle of green color okay this happens and then it is having a color that is known as green now suppose you have a functionality over here that is button and on the press of this button what you are doing you are changing the color as soon as the button is pressed the color of this will be changed to let's say blue simple okay so now what you are doing you are pressing this button and then on the press of this button what is happening your view here this is your view and then this view color is being changed to blue so what will happen previously what first color that you have drawn this was the state of your graph okay this we can say this is your view tree okay what is this this is your view tree this view tree is being made and then here is my attributed graph sitting here okay so my attributed graph copy the value of view trees. So it will have its content view. Okay, because we know content view is the base level. And here it will store like there is a rectangle. For the graphical representation, I'm drawing it as a rectangle. And then it color was green. Okay, this we have showed. Now one thing to note, like these view trees are not permanent in nature. Okay, they are not persistent. Okay, just remember this view trees are not persistent they are not okay okay they are not persistent so you have to remember that so as soon as it copies value to the attribute graph it's gone from the memory and this attributed graph is the amazing thing it is persistent in nature it means it will be not gone from the memory okay so now once this is gone from the memory when we have the values our graph our view has been drawn now what will happen okay i'm just erasing these things this is now we have gone through them so as i told you when i will press on this button the view changes so this is now my current view okay now my view has been changed and the rectangle color is now blue so now i have another now again my view has been changed i will have my view tree to be drawn it will be again a content view here at the base level and then now it will have a rectangle okay so let me just draw a rectangle and then it will be color as blue now swift ui been intelligent enough it will automatically check in the attribute graph okay it will check in the render tree that we can see easily it will see like is there anything that has been changed in me so it will keep checking so first note content view content view we are good now it will see here the color the rectangle was initially of green color and now it is of blue color as soon as it see is there is any change and the changes are there then what it will do it will just remove itself what it will do it will just erase its value 
okay now the values of this are been erased green because the values are why erased from the memory or it discard the value the values are been discarded because as in the view tree the values are different so now it has to re-render itself here is the point that comes that is re-rendering itself okay now it will redraw here so now redraw will happen basically now the swift ui will now redraw and it how it will redraw it will not do anything like from the top it will go it will just pass the values that are being changed so it will see okay now i have to make a rectangle and it has to be of blue color simple so this was basically my evaluation phase you can say so this was my evaluation phase for where i was checking my things are correct or not like are they same if they are not same then i'm what doing i am just changing out my i am just drawing myself then it is a third phase we can say it is re-rendering redrawing itself okay so now it has been changed and once the attribute graph gets its value again we will go and this view tree will be gone out of the memory as soon as the attribute graph takes the values from the view trees this is gone out of the memory it is gone so when it is gone we can just simply erase it so that we are also having a clarity okay it is gone so here it is gone and now you can see the attribute graph is having content content view and this content view is having of blue rectangle and here it is a so it is so so this is a background working how exactly things are happening in swift ui okay now i will just go with the code and just show you like whatever we have just seen exactly in the code also like we can just relate this example and see how things are working again so a bit of coding and then the trees drawing so initially this is my view okay we are coming we have the stack in this v stack we are making a button and button is we are just simply toggling the values and if the value is true what i'm showing as of now a progress view and if it is not true then we are showing a rectangle simple okay so this is a simple example i have taken now what will happen initially i will make a view tree first okay view tree is basically nothing our code only we can say the code that we are having so then in the view tree what we will have first in this view tree we will have first our basic view that is rect view this rect view will have a v stack great that's just you have to read the code and write it at your own this v stack okay here as soon as you go down you will just see here the v stack has some value okay it is storing the button value just make sure you have this button value also because it will be keeping the values also so you can see this is our value we can write or let's just concentrate on the views as of now so and then we have if we stack the values we can see here is a button okay now we are drawing a button so here is my button and let's draw out a button here and after the button what in the v stack we have after the button we in the v stack we have two things just remember in the button we have two things after the button so here we can make like this from the button we have either it could be a progress view or it could be a rectangle okay so this is how my v stack is been formed all the contents of my v stack are being written all see okay it has a button and then it has something that is progress view and rectangle so this is my view tree now view tree will give its value all the values that are need to be given to the attribute tree as you know so we will have all these values copied to my attribute tree so i will have my attribute tree here okay and here we will just write down i will write down these values at fast level because it is just copying the values here we have v stack and then after the v stack we have two things it is button okay now see one thing it is having two values as of now currently the value is true and when the value is true we need to show the progress view okay when the value is true we need to show the progress view so initially in my view tree it will this value will not be there rectangle because initially in my view tree progress is there v stack can have two value but v stack chose at this time progress okay so i will just write here progress this was to demonstrate you in internally v stack will also not have this it will have a progress because rectangle is will only come when it is false okay so now this is my v stack and now my v stack is having as of now progress 
okay so this is as soon as my attribute tree or the graph gets its value okay so we can say it as graph only just for because people might get confused so as soon as my attribute graph gets its value view tree is now out of the memory we are done okay so this is done so as soon as this is done i press on the toggle button when i press on the toggle button my view will re-render why now progress view won't be displayed it will be rectangle that would be displayed so then what will we do we will as we know there is a change in the value there is a change in the value as i told you in the v stack here in the view the v stack would be saving the values as well like the button state okay now you saw like button state the button state was true and as soon as there is a change in the value again view state will be drawn okay we have the view tree that would be drawn because as we see there is a change in the value user performs some action so as soon as the user performs some action we will see the root view or the rectangle view we can say is the same it has no changes then we come to the v stack okay so v stack we are having here okay in the v stack we have a button button is already there that's not an issue after that the button we have one more thing in the button uh, here we see now the value being false here you can see here the value is being false okay so here the value is being false as soon as the value is being false now we have rectangle here once we have the initialization phase of the view tree now we will go and do the comparison that is the evaluation that has been going on now it will check root view root view they are same not an issue v stack uh, here is the change here we can see directly here the states of the v stack are being changed and once we go down we see here if the v stack states are changed what is being changed rectangle was here and previously in the attribute graph it was progress view so it saw like there are changes in the thing you can see rectangle and progress view so what progress view will do it like this our state view it will be what it will do it will just the graph tree will first uh, basically it will take the it will discard these values these values will be discarded as soon as these values are discarded it will copy the values from the view tree so now you can see we are gone these values are gone and it will just copy the values new values that are there so here it will take v stack and then the value whatever it is it is true now sorry it is false my bad so now the value is being false and so it will copy the false value then it will copy okay button is already there that is not an issue now here it will see it will have a rectangle as soon as the values are been done the view tree will be discarded from the memory and as soon as the view tree has been discarded you can see the attribute graph and then your view will be there and the view will be having all the values that are the part of these attribute graph so this is how exactly our swift ui is working based upon the re-rendering if you think about that so this is how the internally comparisons are going so we have the masters that are the first master we have in our game so the first master we have is our view tree okay and then we have is a re-render re tree so re-render tree we can say re-render tree or people uh, say it re-render tree but actually it is an attributed graph so that is being provided by apple internally okay and we cannot play with these two things it is handled by swift ui only so we cannot change their values so this is how the things are working in the next video we will see like how we have id modifier and how id modifier helps to redraw a view so this will also help us and then we will see what are the advantages in the upcoming view as of now this is it for this video if you like this video please go and subscribe to the channel and keep watching thank you